Portland metro area, we are under a cloud cover. And uh, Kelly, do you expect any more precipitation this afternoon? Any more showers? Yeah, today we're, st we're still expecting a chance to see some drizzle out there. And we've seen that pretty much all morning long. Some neighborhoods around Portland were a little damp uh, due to that drizzle. So the strong marine layer is pushing in. We're seeing clouds just hugging the valley here and some light precipitation working on. And that'll continue to the rest of today. We pick up those showers by tomorrow as our next week system rolls in. We'll still see unsettled weather and pop up showers that could be heavy going into tomorrow and also Friday. As we look towards the east sides, though, we're keeping that heavy rain in place uh, really around the areas near Pendleton and northeastern Oregon. And we have our own flood warning in place for that region here. The Umatilla River has a chance to reach the minor flood stage. Could see some issues out there, mo uh, mostly towards uh, the east sides of Pendleton and towards the foothills, but that river, again, uh, could rise enough to hit uh, a flood stage. And even since midnight, we've seen over three quarters of an inch of rain in that region, so that is quite a bit to see possibly even a new record uh, rainfall amount just for today. So that system in place is really dropping heavy rain out there, and that'll likely continue into tonight, that flood warning in place until tomorrow morning. As for Portland, not seeing too much rain today. That may change going into tomorrow as we see our next system arrive. So we're getting a lot of westerly winds here pushing into the region. A lot of clouds out over the region and out towards the uh, beaches now. Some light showers out there. You can see we're overcast here in Portland. And there are a few raindrops flying around here tonight. Our sunset closer to 9 p.m. now, really building in that daylight here. So looking at current winds, they've also been very gusty out towards the Dalles. We've topped off our peak wind gusts around 47 miles per hour. And even out towards Hood River, even into Troutdale, we picked up some wind gusts too. So very breezy winds from the uh, west funneling through the gorge. We'll see those breezy winds through 8 p.m. We've got that wind advisory in place throughout the gorge, mainly east of the Dalles too. Uh, for gusty conditions that'll continue through tonight. So careful driving along 84 here and then also uh, heavy rain as soon as you hit uh, the east side towards Pendleton. So at rainfall future cast still looking at some showers pushing on through a lot of that rain will stay up in the foothills. Just a passing light shower still possible here around Portland and in the valley of the coast likely seeing more widespread light rain through the rest of the evening too. So a bit more wet towards the beaches and in the foothills come tomorrow as that front slides in. We'll see a little bit of instability. So going with just a slight chance we see some heavy rain cells or even a pop up thunderstorm around the valley and towards the foothills of the Cascades going into tomorrow and then heading into Friday. We'll still see some lingering showers drying out as we head towards our holiday weekend. So here's our zone planner. Nice views up towards the mountains above the clouds. We are seeing some blue skies there towards Mount Hood. It's a nice view. We'll keep it mainly cloudy today in the valley. Low 60s for our highs today and again out towards the coast. You expect a few light rain showers to finish out our afternoon and evening with temperatures in the upper 50s. So here's our seven day forecast. Temperatures really cooling by tomorrow. Likely our highs won't even break 60 degrees, and we'll see those scattered rain showers throughout the afternoon. Back to you guys. And stick around. We have more news and weather right after.